Everybody, how's it going? Chatty CRC back with here on the channel. Kind of moving things around here, so the light's kind of weird up here, but the bench light looks really good. Uh, so anyway, we'll get to the video. Coming up next on the channel, we are going to be rebuilding my crashed Nano Goblin uh, that has been crashed numerous times, and the last one was pretty bad. We're going to be ripping out the CL Racing board out of there gonna fix this all up and redo a lot of the, the stuff as much as we can and we're gonna be throwing in a Maytek F405 wing and flashing Ardu pilot on there so that is gonna be pretty cool so stick around for the channel on that talking about the the TBS source one here and my maiden flights that I had on it took it out yesterday really strong performer really tough in the wind yesterday but I just wanted to kind of get it out and see how things would would go and overall I am very satisfied with how this thing flies that it's, it's very very rigid frame how everything's to goes together no really bad resonance issues that I could see at all in my video you know sometimes you get those weird little oscillations and stuff like that None of that was on there. I made a couple repairs and changes to uh, the camera and the camera plate, just how I have the eagle mounted, so that way I have a little bit less of the the top frame in the shots. And just uh, tightened down my screws on my motors a few times to get the, the double soft mounting kind of with the, the skid plate and then the soft mounts on there and yeah video looks really good if you didn't see the build this is uh, running 2207 primos 2450 kvs motolab tempest uh beta flight 3.5.1 even uh speed ESCs. i uh, ran it on gem fan props the 5152s micro eagle of course the session and everything like that so taking a look at some of the video here so yesterday was a real crummy day but no rain so i was able to fly around a little bit but had about 10 to 15 mile per hour winds i started off uh changing some tunes around i, I didn't really start off on uh, a stock tune and i was uh, it felt okay i was having a hard time kind of finding that good mix between like feed forward and feed forward transition so today no problems at all flew a couple packs after work winds were pretty light reset everything to beta flight 3.5.1 defaults as far as the pids go and upped my feed forward transition to about 42 and also i changed uh my expo a little bit and got more of got a really good feeling uh, quad. It's been a while since I've had to tune something like this, which is more of like your XH frame type of deal, alien kind of, you know, shaped quad. The epics that I normally fly are about 255 millimeters from motor to motor, and they're a squished X, so they fly a lot different. You know, they're made for like cinematic filming. They can do some park style, freestyling if you want to and rip it up, but they fly a lot faster. Uh, just kind of how the, the, the actual thrust vectoring is but you can see here that getting plenty of good speed running on a 5s 1500 here the video looks really good I had an MD4 on here just to get rid of any jello that might come through but I see just a slight oscillation in the video at times and that's typically only around a certain throttle point just like everything else but it's nowhere near anything that I've had to battle before and I probably won't even mess with this I'm actually pretty very very pleased on how well that it is actually performing on beta flight 3.5.1 stock pids I did change dynamic filtering to the smallest gap possible which is, I think is a width of 20 and a quality of 15 I believe but uh, yeah just capturing some uh, 
Leftover autumn colors, you can see just uh, how soaked the fields are there. We've had just a ton of rain and it's just been really, really bad flying conditions, that's for sure. But Force, the Source One, the Force One, watch Star Wars today. The Source One holds lines very well. Flies great on these gem fan props. I'll definitely be trying out some different props on it as well. Uh, it feels like it could use a little bit more speed. And I was already running probably around 30, 35 degree camera angle. So I'm going to move that up to around 40 and get a little bit more speed out of it, I think. Because that's kind of what it is. It's not really a cinematic flyer, even though that's kind of just how I fly. Um, no flippy, rolly type of stuff really here. But I will be trying out some kind of... I don't know. I might even try 6S on it to see if we can get a little bit more. Flight times, flying like this, I was getting around 4.5 to 5 minutes. So that's very, very nice and very respectable. And, uh, I mean, all in all, what can you say? Super build, great products that are on here. Everything that I typically use in my builds on a $30 frame. I mean, I'll take it all day long. Nothing ever used to be this easy. I don't, if, if anybody's out there looking to build something that's just easy to build and that just works. So you don't have to do a lot of messing around. I highly, highly recommend it. Source One is great. So... We'll see you guys on the next few videos. Enjoy the flights.